next night we'll go out to a, a new field. Um, it's a wheat field uh, this year. Last year it's been corn. We'll start at the at one of our old wheat fields right next to the rattlesnake farm. Um, seen hawks out there, you know, two weeks ago, and we, we shot about seven. I also seen uh, some boars come in on the rattlesnake farm. So we'll start there, make our way to this other new field and then probably finish off, depending on time and whatever, um, at our big wheat field. So we'll see how it goes. I have somebody come out tonight with us, uh, Gary. Uh, I've been hunting with him once before. Um, he shot back then an AK-47 style. So it'll be Micah, myself and uh, Gary. See how many hawks we can get. Let's pack up and head out. So we've just pulled up next to the, the wheat field here, the first one. Um, we've been out here, uh, recently took seven, like I mentioned earlier. Um, Micah is here. We have Gary with us for the first time. Good man. That means we'll kill some hawks tonight. Um, I'm still shooting the 450 Bushmaster for tonight. Um, I am running low on ammo. And I do want to switch over to the either the 300 Blackout or 6.5 Grendel. For tonight, we'll uh, shoot this. Micah has his um, the 7.62 uh, by 40, it's so this in combat round. So uh, he's shooting his uh, IR defense. Gary will be shooting his AK-47. Um, so that's a 7.62 by 39. But yeah, that's the setup for tonight. We we'll have the first field now. Uh, I think Micah had something uh, show up earlier maybe 300 yards from us right now, but he couldn't tell back then. It was pretty quick if it was a coyote or a hawk, but uh, since the wind is blowing this way and the field is also down there, we are probably going to uh, head over to the rattlesnake farm, uh, make our way down the fence line and then uh, cut, the, cut over the fence down there. So let's do it. So we're at the corner of this wheat field. We have a group out here. We counted between 16 and 20. Um, yeah. They're about 200 yards away from us right now. Um, since it's pretty bright, we're like a half moon right now. Yeah. I don't. I don't know if we would be able to actually get close enough to them. So the plan for now is that Micah and Gary uh, stay back here, walk back here this tree line, and see if they can cut them off as they uh, you know, run back to the trees. That's the thought, so I, I go down this way and basically try to take a few shots, see how close I can get, uh, you know, be quiet and whatnot and with the light. See if I can get one or two, and then if they would run, you know, towards Micah and Gary. But if it works and we can finish up. Yeah. So I'll be walking up there, try to be as quiet as possible right now. We're far enough away, so this shouldn't bother them too much. And uh, see if we can get some. Let's go.
So that didn't quite work out as we thought it would. Uh, I made my way, that way up. I got closer to them as I actually anticipated. Yeah, I, I probably got up to 60 yards. I mean, I had a few spots in between. You know, I tried to be quiet and uh, get through the weed as, as quietly as I could. Um, most of the part I was, you know, ducking down, so now you're walking, you know, in that, in that position holding your rifle, so you're quite a bit out of breath. I got maybe to 80 yards or something, and um, uh, engine room is going like crazy. I was out of breath, uh, you know, aimed, but all over the place at this point. So I want to get closer. I got probably to 60 yards. In between, I, I went down prone a, a few times, but <laughs> the, the worst part happening, and it probably happened like four to five times before, but never uh, in, in this case where I'm like, this close to hogs, but I have this tile, right? The little device you can put in your wallet, or you can, you know, as a keychain, put in your on your keys. And I have that in my keys because I usually forget them somewhere and then don't know where they are. So that thing, you can, you know, locate them with Bluetooth on your phone. Well, the, the stupid thing, uh, as you have it in your in your pocket and you knee down, uh, there's a chance that this thing activates itself. There's a little button on there, and somehow just being in your pocket, it, you know, you hear this little beep, 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 and then all of a sudden your phone starts ringing. Basically, it's a, the feature is, go find my phone. Well, my phone is in my pocket, and now I'm 60 yards away from those hogs. This thing goes off. My phone rings very loudly, and I'm like, all right, shit, that's it. Uh, get my phone out of the pocket, fumble, turn it off, uh, put it in the ground. Look at those hogs. They didn't even care. They're still feeding on the weed. <coughs> and I'm like, how is it even possible, right? I mean, how often did we uh, uh, walk up to hogs and Micah hits the fence with his trigger stick and all of a sudden the hogs are like, shit, let's get out of here. And here you have the phone ringing and they don't give a damn. Uh, so, knock on wood, that, uh, that worked out good. But then what didn't work out, I take a few shots and I hear, hear some good hits. And, uh, you know, I, this is a five round magazine for the 450 Bushmaster. I have one in the chamber, so I have five plus one, and I had one left in the chamber at the end. So I took four shots, and I have three hawks on the ground. That's pretty good. Didn't have a trigger stick or a tripod with me, because the plan was really just to, you know, mess around, see if we can flush them back there. So I didn't bring all that, and, you know, uh, it would be a lot of uh, equipment to, to carry up here quietly. Um, so I was, you know, free-handed. Uh, I think the first shot I took uh, kneeling, I believe. I actually qu can't quite remember, but but what didn't work out so good is they just, you know, they went in all directions all of a sudden. So I had three going to the left, uh, this direction towards the defense line, across the, the cow pasture back there. We had a few going straight this way, and Micah and Gary are this way. So didn't work out as we as we planned, but we have three hawks on the ground. Uh, these hogs, I mean, all shot with the 450 Bushmaster, and um, long shot, long <coughs> shot. This is the first one I shot. What the hell? Is that Gary? No, he's right here. Oh. You know, maybe a wounded one, and that uh, went back there. Anyways, consistency, long shots. This is the first one I shot, and she dropped right away. Um, the interesting part now with the 450 Bushmaster, and I, I call it the hole punch because that's what I'm seeing here. Half an inch uh, to three quarter of an inch entry wound, and then on all three, exit wound, maybe slightly bigger, maybe an inch. Um, two of these had uh, basically uh, organs coming out in exit and entry. So um, these two were running shots. Uh, I would have to check the video later and see where I hit them and how far they would have run. This one was past the fence line. Uh, this one was further back here. So I'm not sure where, they hit, where I hit them and how far they ran, but uh, she dropped right away. But good start for the night. Um, we're gonna take some pretty pictures for you guys and then uh, Micah's gonna take some hams and we'll go to the next field. 
Maybe we have some more coming up here too, but otherwise we have two more wheat fields to check for tonight. Uh, one we haven't been in for, for a very long time, so I'm hoping we'll see some more hawks in there and uh, maybe we'll get up to 10 tonight, who knows. But uh, I, need, I need to get Gary on the hog and now also of course Maka because I feel guilty for taking these three and they hung back at the tree line and didn't get anything. So let's make it happen. <laughs> Hit the second field now. Just drove over here. Micah just went down the street to start scanning the field. Hopefully we have something in there. Like I said, this field, uh, we haven't been out here at all uh, in the last probably eight months or so. So um, it's wheat now. Last year it was corn. Um, I'm hoping there's something in there right now. So I'm gonna pack my stuff. Um, make sure. What? Nothing? No. So Micah just came back uh, from scanning down there and didn't see anything in here. So uh, we'll just keep, keep going to the next wheat field. The big trusty wheat field where we usually have quite a few hogs in it, which then also means uh, quite a bit of walking, but um, hopefully we'll see some more and can kill some more. Let's go. Field number three, and uh, they're quite a way out there, maybe, uh, I don't know, from here, eight, nine hundred yards or something. But we have quite a few heat signatures out there, so, but last time we came out, we had tons of deer in this field too, so at this point, hard to tell if it's deer or hog, but uh, hoping that it'll be a split, half, half. So we'll check it out and uh, see if we can get some more hot. Run up there and finish him before he runs off. Nice shot, brother. Oh boy, it's uh, it's interesting that that Razorback. I you did. haven't seen that on the side like that before. Looks like our walk was worth its while. The first group didn't get as close as we hoped for, but uh, 
you got two in the ground, uh, one of the sows in the front. She probably saw us or heard something, but she was about to buck. Uh, Micah and Gary were to my side a little further off because I kept walking. So I just said, hey, let's do the countdown and get started. Gary got one here. I got that saw, the big saw back here. And Micah should have, uh, took a fantastic shot at the boar, probably. I guess 200 yards away or something. Wow, dude, look at that. Nice prey going too. <coughs> so, thanks. Big so. Fix his arc, my friend. Yeah, baby. If I can get a picture here. Yeah, this girl is squirting like crazy. Yeah, right there. I could see it coming yeah. when she was running this way. This is fun. Look at the AK. <laughs> yeah. Poop nugget. yeah. Knocked it. You knocked it out of yours too. So that sniper patch needs to go on him right now. That's right. Yeah. How far? I'll, was, I'll order him one. Yeah. I don't How think far it was, was a shot. To maybe 175. Oh, I want to see what it looks like on the other side. Jesus, oh, huge. Uh, oh, oh god. Uh, so there's God, that's huge, man. Mm. Let's go check out yours. Yeah, uh, I want to see the boar back there because he looked big too. Did he? Yeah. Do what? The boar micro shot? Oh, yeah. yeah. I don't think he'd be that big, but. Uh, oh, he was in the Wow, do you have a light? Yeah. That's right. I think that there's a flag. You don't have to let it in What you gonna do? Put the berm in the pizza. Here we go. Is it moving? Yours are up. Micah's pig was at 200 yards. Ears up means slow light. Okay, you move up. Excellent shot. Where is it? Right here. Didn't drop right away. Is it up there? Yeah. Nice shot. Nice shot. 
I think I was going on the left side. That's weird. Good job. Oh, here's what's weird is you saw that. I shot that one. I put it down right there. This one here hmm. took off and ran. Well, but you know, I mean, maybe that other one hit some bone or something. Just caught something, right? Did something. Do it in the blender. Doing good, baby. Good job, dude. Wonder how far that, that bullet went. Mushrooms and goes out of there. How much further it's going out? The copper? Uh -huh. It's a barn. So we're finishing up our night with seven on the ground. Um, just took four here. Micah put a 175 to 200 yard shot in the, in the board, which was fantastic. And I have that in the video. As we went to check out that boar, we, uh, well, I left my rifle back at that sow I shot and uh, took the camera instead. Um, as we walked up to the boar, uh, his, his ears were still perked up, so um, Micah finished him off with uh, one more shot. And as we were working on that boar, and, uh, Micah wanted to uh, see and get those tusks um, and take him home. We had another group come in, I think, like I said, about three of them. Uh, since I didn't have my rifle at this point, I grabbed the camera. We stocked up on them and then uh, Micah and uh, Gary uh, took a shot. Got one on the ground, another sow. I uh, was able to film that, it was pretty nice. Um, but at the end of the day, seven in total, three on the other field, four here. Of those four, we had three big sows, two of them uh, pregnant for sure. Uh, the one I took, uh, I mean, she looked big too and uh, unusual for a sow, I would say. She had this uh, razor back. She also was spotted uh, in terms of coloration. Um, so, interesting looking sow. I haven't seen one like that before. Um, but yeah, I mean, big, big sows, uh, pregnant probably, so we, you know, made a difference there in, in population. Um, at that other place, we had, I believe, one boar and two sows. Like at, what, at the other one, those three, was there a boar in there? All, all sow. All right, so three sows at the other property. Um, that means we, we're leaving with a total of six sows and one boar tonight. Yeah. So. I think everyone was pregnant, right? Yeah. Well, not Did sure we, about the other one, the, the three. Yeah, we don't want to. Yeah, so maybe. Either way, let's say that let's say that five out of six were pregnant. They usually have between seven and nine piglets, seven and ten maybe. Let's just go with eight. Forty forty pigs right there. Yeah. P plus plus five the sows themselves. Mm -hmm. So forty five pigs probably potentially taken out. Pretty good. What? Because we care. Because we care. <laughs> right, I'm gonna get you on camera too, Gary. Yeah, tell me how uh, how it might been for you. Uh, yeah. What do you think? Like, did you have fun? I had a blast. It was really good, and enjoyed hunting with some new people and learning some things that y'all do, and kind of confirming some things that I guess I learned on my own. But it's like, okay, maybe I'm not too far off the path, and then. But yeah, y'all got skills and it was fun I learned you. some stuff. Well, it was fun shooting, uh, seeing you shoot the AK. I know. That suppressor looks interesting. Yeah. So they, I think they styled it off of the original ones that the Russians had. Interesting. So, it sounded yeah. good. Yeah, it did. It's a really good sound to it. Yeah, this was a good night. It was a good hunt. 
Yeah, a lot of fun. Yeah. This thing worked. Oh yeah, that. Uh, so that last sounder, or the last group, yeah, mm -hmm. you, you called in. Um, so they came actually closer with that thing. Yeah. Did you see that? Yeah, yeah. They would come up. They come. Yeah. They peek up over that little crest. They kind of trail back toward me, yeah. and then they kind of meander back down below that little crest part of the field. How do you how do you work that thing? It's, I mean, it's a, like a grunt tube for deer shot. It's supposed to sound like it's a, a little a, reed in it. Yeah. Okay. One on either side. Hmm. So I just take it and. Just like that. Didn't you have it in your hand doing it though? Or did you I just oh, I yeah. just had it here and I was while I was holding the rifle yeah. to the side. Interesting. But I thought it I mean it at least stopped that brought that little sound little piglet <laughs> over. Yeah, for did. sure. And then I missed. And then but, uh, <laughs> and the, these three, because they were between your pack and that that sow and where we were. Mm -hmm. And started doing this and they, they just seemed like they were uh, comfortable hearing it and just kind of hung out and stayed there and we intercepted them and took one down. Interesting. <coughs> All right, good job boys. Thanks for the yeah. Thanks for the Good job Gary. Thank you. Later guys. Uh, if you liked the video make sure you subscribe, uh, hit the thumbs up and um, Hit the bell icon on top if you want to get notifications for our next few videos. Uh, otherwise we'll be back here at the wheat field or maybe back at the canyon ranch. I just uh, replenished the corn up there and we had some pigs coming in during the day. So if I if I get lucky I would love to take that 300 blackout SBR out with my little red dot on top. There was a ton of fun shooting that the other day um, with all these suppressors. So if I could get that thing on a group of hogs during the day, just with a quicker target acquisition, thin blackout, you know, 30 round magazine, and that property, um, it's pretty safe to shoot too. Uh, you know, I would be surprised he wouldn't be able to take out uh, quite a few, few more than we usually take out here with thermal hunting and whatnot. All right, see you next time.